What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy PZ here with the GoTo Gamers, and um, I'm back for the first time in a few days. Like uh, you were watching, if you watched our uh, news video, which is <laughs> very unorganized, we're sorry. We really do apologize for that. We just didn't have time. You will have heard that um, I was sick, and I tried to make a commentary for you guys. I tried to make a commentary of this video, and I did about 20 seconds, and I just couldn't do it no longer. I had to, I had to give up. Anyways, over that, um, I'm back. I'm start making videos again. This game is an indie game. It's called uh, End of Days Infected vs. Mercenaries. It's 240 Microsoft points on the Xbox Live Arcade. It's up to 16 player multiplayer online. It's a first person shooter as you can see. Uh, some of the downfalls in this game, it's only one map. The game is really fun. Um, kind of reminds me of like an old, I don't know, old shooter games. The graphics aren't the best. Um, but I mean, it's just fun. It's all around, it's all around a good time. I actually found people online. This was, I think, eight people in this game or something like that. Little to no lag. I think it hosts off of um, probably the the creator of the lobby, so you know that, that way they don't have servers up, so the lag's not always there. Plus, there's not that many people online, even if they did host their own servers. So I mean, you wouldn't have that much of a problem. Anyways, um, I played this game a few times now. I picked it up just because I was bored. If I'm doing anything right now, I'm either playing uh, Mono for Three or I'm playing indie games. That's just that's just how it is right now. Any other game right now is just I don't know, I just can't find anything to pick up and play. I got a 3DS, or I'm playing 3DS, you know what I'm playing those kind of games. Which reminds me, I need to go to GameStop today to return Pirates of the Caribbean Legos. Because I've had it for a week and I don't want it anymore. I beat it, well basically beat it. I'm like to the end and then I got stuck and I can't figure it out. So I just, I'm just going to go return it and get my money back and get something else probably. But anyways, that's besides the fact. If you guys are near Best Buy, I think the promotion is still going on. It's buy two used games, get two free. Um, he inspired did that for DS games for our 3DS. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know that. Anyways, back to the gameplay. Um, I'm using the AK here, and I think mid-game I switched to, I think it's an M4 or something like that. I unlocked it. Went to get 20 kills, he unlocked the next weapon. So as you can see, I haven't played this game much, but I have played it. <clears throat> Dang, I haven't done a commentary in a while. I'm running out of stuff to say. Oh, running out of stuff. No, I'm not running out of stuff. I have plenty of stuff to say. Um, I'm going to be starting a new series that just, uh, as of, I might film the first episode today, I'm not sure. I don't know if you guys have heard of the indie game called Loot Fest. It's uh, basically a looting game. You run around, you kill mobs, and uh, get coins, buy new armor, and all that kind of stuff. And as soon as you died, you'd have to restart. Well, they came out with a new indie game, I guess a few days ago. I've been busy and haven't been on, or I've been sick, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I guess it's like a, it's a multiplayer and free building game. And you can turn the mobs on and off. So you can go ahead and build yourself a fortress, then turn them on, then defend yourself that way. Uh, but it's still the same, <laughs> still the same, because I learned the hard way. I had actually filmed the first episode this morning. <clears throat> See right there, I unlocked the new gun. I get off track really easy, guys. Sorry. I had actually filmed the first episode this morning, and I had not quit out of the game. I stopped recording, and I was in the this editing software right here trying to edit the video to upload it for you guys, and I died. And when it said I died, it said it lost everything. So therefore, I had to restart the whole world. So I decided to scrap that episode because I didn't want an episode. If I'm trying to do a series where I die the first episode and I have to start over again and explain that to you guys, even though I'm explaining it right now. So I figured I'd go ahead and restart the, the series, and uh, you can expect that video sometime soon. I don't know exactly when I'm going to put it up, hopefully within the next shoot. If not today, tomorrow, you guys should see the first episode of it. I'm going to try to get Spider to get it, maybe we'll do like a dual commentary build-off kind of thing. That would be fun. Uh, we're still going to be playing Total Minor Forge, we know you guys like that video. I'm waiting for the mobs to come out, and then hopefully I can start a new series with mobs. And um, what else am I waiting for? I'm waiting for Minecraft to come out, because that looks like it's going to be a good game. I'm waiting for... Not time. I was going to say Time Crisis. I don't know why I was going to say Time Crisis. It doesn't make any sense. I'm waiting for uh, Counter-Strike to come out. Global Offense, I think it is. I'm waiting for that to come with the Xbox Live Arcade. Um, I heard that it's supposed to come out in January. I haven't heard anything since then. I can't find any source of information since then. I found that one since I found that source anyways I've searched high and low on the internet have not been able to find anything if any of you guys know inf any, any information when that game's coming out please let us know because we're really looking forward to that game I cannot wait to you know make some videos of that um, dang I have so much to say and I don't know what I want to say dun 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 um, oh yeah in case you guys didn't hear on one of the spiders for the videos in case you didn't watch the news, because, you know, not everybody watches the news, our podcast news, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Spider said, uh, 
to something along the lines of, you know, PZ has some personal stuff going on right now in his life. And he said it in really, really somber, um, really somber, you know, tone. And when I watched it, I kind of got like, dang, this guy makes it sound like, you know, something's wrong with me or something's wrong with my family or something bad. And it's, that's not the case whatsoever. You know, it, it's nothing bad at all. In fact, it's good. Um, I have a girlfriend now, so I just have been busy with that, doing that kind of thing. And um, I haven't been on Xbox in a few days, and they're actually getting mad at me last night. They're like, oh, get on Xbox. I was like, oh, I can't. You know, I'm not home. But um, now that I'm back, and now that I'm feeling well, and now that I have more time, um, I'm going to make more videos for y'all. And that's just how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be. We're still trying to figure out how to get more subscribers. I mean, we're at 590-something. We're almost at 600, which, shoot, I can't wait till we get to 600. Then I can't wait till we get to 1,000 either, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm trying to figure out more ways. I need to go out and network somehow and figure all that kind of stuff out. And, uh... Hopefully one day we'll be one of the bigger subscribers. Um, White Boy's, shoot, he's almost at a million subscribers. I remember when he had no subscribers, you know, like it was just a few, few thousand, and, and uh, now he's up to almost a million. It's really crazy to see. Good for him. Um, Woody's gamer tag. He going pro where he quit his job. Well, he's on basically on leave. He didn't quit his job. Um, he's making videos full time. FPS Russia started out making. You know, gaming videos. Now he makes shooting videos. He's well, well off to do. You know, he's doing his thing. Um, only use me, Blade. One of my favorite commentators of all time. Um, I think he was one of the most influential people in me starting commentating. Uh, I think I just used to love watching his videos, running around knifing. I actually made a knifing only account back in Modern Warfare 2. Um, basically, to pay homage to him. It was just something fun to do. Um, so yeah. Hands down, he's probably my favorite commentator. One of the ones that, you know, influenced me to start commentating. What else? What else is there to talk about? Indie games are crazy, guys. I love indie games. If you guys do not like indie games, um, or don't know how to find indie games, you guys should go check them out. Because I guarantee you, for the dollar, three dollars, or five dollars that you pay for a game, you're going to have a good time. Uh, there's always a trial of a game in case you don't, uh, in case you want to try it before you actually get it. And uh, actually, in the new update that's coming out, well, it's not a new update, it's just new, uh, maybe it is an update, I'm not sure. We said it in the news a few weeks ago, they're upping the, the memory that indie game people can use, which means they're decreasing the price and what indie games cost. So what before used to be maybe 200 megabytes would cost you, um, uh, say a 50 megabyte game costed you a dollar, 80 Microsoft points. A 200 megabyte game costed you $3, 240 Microsoft points. <clears throat> now say they I don't know if this is really what happened they update they upgraded it to where the bigger one can go higher there's still another step but I'm not sure how many how much Microsoft points it costs I know it's five bucks I'm not sure what that correlates into Microsoft points I think maybe 400 anyways <clears throat> so you would take that step so that now let's just say it move everything moved up so what you have is you have 200 Microsoft points I mean 200 megabytes can now be a dollar so that means games can be bigger better and uh, cheaper Anyways, guys, the game ended right here. I went 15 and 13. Not, not really that good, but I mean, just for I want to show you guys this game. And uh, anyways, guys, been peace with the GoTo Gamers. If you stuck with me this long, I really appreciate if you leave a like and a comment. Um, sorry, my commentary is kind of all over the place. Like I said, I'm still getting over being sick and trying to get back into the swing of things of commentating. As always, guys, been peace with the GoTo Gamers. I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do like, favorite, comment, whatever you want to do. Peace out, guys.